Hey, what's up everybody? Um, so I'm making this video because I've been super dying to show off my new um, personal addition to my collection. Um, this is the LS6 in the hero version, in the hero setup um, from the custom saber shop. And this I've actually been eyeballing since I first got into this hobby because I like the double um, reveal and I like the metal uh, frame that it comes with. I I didn't start out with this build because a lot of people told me how difficult it was. Um, so my first build was actually uh, this guy, the uh, Romans Props uh, Balance V4. And uh, I was told that even that this was a challenging build, especially for how I... Um, how I did the setup in here, um, you know, it just, uh, it was not the easiest build to start for somebody, so, but people don't know the patience I have, people don't know the determination I have, um, so, yeah, I, I went with it, and, now that I've, I'm able to hold both in my hand, I will be honest, um, there's things I like about both of them, but I, I personally am leaning more towards the LS6. Um, yeah, I, I just, I like the size of the box. I'm a huge fan of the Switch boxes. I know many people don't because it's hard to, you know... Um, swing them around with them, but I don't mind it. Um, sorry, I know I might be going out of frame a little bit, but oh, and this is a this is a custom plug that I made. This is the stock plug that comes with it, but I customized it. I drilled a hole in there. I cut this off of the original um, thing that it came as, where it's like a solid, um, it's like a solid plug that you have to then unscrew and all this st stuff. Anyway, um, so let me get to talking about this guy. Uh, and then up here, um, this is um, another LS6 um, that I did in the V2 configuration. Um, this is actually my first V2 I'll ever have done. Um, I just painted it myself. Um hand painted. I know that the stenciling is probably the more accurate, but it is quite expensive and complicated even if you want to do it yourself. Uh, and it's even more expensive to have someone else do it. Um, so I looked at a lot of photos and a lot of angles of photos and I tried to hand paint it um, as close as I could get it. Anyway, um, so this one is empty. It's not installed yet, so I will be doing that next. So, all in all, I bought three of these, and the third one I'm going to do in the V2 version, and I'm going to list it for sale. It's going to have the same features as these two, um, and it'll be the first V2 that I do that will be for sale, so that's exciting. Um, but these two I'm going to keep for my collection. Anyway, so um, I did... Uh, start out with the goth chassis for this but as i got into installing it with the chassis i realized that it was not um that chassis was not designed for what i wanted to do with this hilt um i wanted to do a removable battery and a removable uh, a 28 millimeter uh removable speaker um and that was not equipped for it. I ended up chopping chopping it up quite a bit to the point where it was pretty much not a chassis at, at all. And it's still, even with all the space I created in it, it still just did not, you know, accomplish what I was trying to accomplish. So I got really creative and I might get some heat for this. But the chassis that's holding everything in here is actually a uh, diffuser tube for a... Uh, one inch thin walled blade it actually fits it pretty darn snug 
and I was able to cut that into sh in, and shape it to fit my needs for what I wanted to do um, on this build. And I could I could you know measure it, I could um, chop it up and shape it into what I wanted on the fly. It wasn't like I had to three D print something find out something didn't work and then scrap it and go and 3d print another one. So that was, that's been really helpful. Um, so anyway, uh, let's get to it. So it's a custom chassis. Um, it's got the Chateau PCB connection in here with the uh, onboard LEDs. Same thing up here in the emitter. Um, it's got the, um, power and aux button here as the clamp card. I absolutely hate uh, doing it as these guys because depending on the hilt and the way these buttons are designed, it's a real pain in the butt to 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 fit that plus doing NeoPixel LEDs here. Um, it just, the positioning of it just doesn't fit quite right. Uh, I can always make it fit when I do the, the buttons as the clamp card. Um, and yeah, the only thing I didn't like too was that on here, um, the clamp holder itself, the card holder, I had to paint it. I painted it copper. Um, it just, it's still kind of wet. Actually, I shouldn't really be touching it. I might have to sand it down and do another paint job again. Anyway, um, the way that it comes on the LS6 I know you can, I sanded it down and I feel like I actually took the copper polish away. Um, I don't know. I've seen it polished up pretty well by Zimmer Labs. I've seen one he did and I just, the color still to me just doesn't get to this orangey copper that I personally like. So anyway, I painted it. So yeah. Um, okay. So another thing that um, people told, people said was that I couldn't do a 28 millimeter speaker in here because it just would not fit. So I heavily altered the uh, hilt to make that work. Anyway, so let's get into it. Um, so in here you have your Profi, um, 2.2 access, um, the recharge, your 1.3, uh, I can't figure out if that's 1.3 or 1.5. I see the same recharge around two different shops for sale and, I swear one place says 1.3, another place says 1.5, uh, anyway. And then right up, you're probably not going to see it on the camera, but, oh, maybe you can't. Right up in there um, is the kill switch. So you just got to open this up and just stick your finger in there and just flip it. Um, and then there's your 18650 3100 um, MAH heat power battery. Um and then back here, I'll show you what I did to fit the 28 millimeter speaker. So originally, um, this section here, this reveal section, it comes with like a metal, like a metal housing that goes out to about where the speaker goes. Um, I'm not sure what the original intent was for that thing, but I cut it off. And then on top of that, the metal, this lip right here, this is the metal frame of the rest of this, the hilt. I actually grinded that down so that this speaker could fit lower so that it wasn't complete. I mean, it is, it is pushed up against the bottom of this in here, but I made it so it's not like crushed. It's, it's just, it stops pretty much on it. Um, <clears throat> Then uh, I had to custom make um, the little connection, um, which again is made out of diffuser tube with the quick quick connect option, and that took some took some fine work there. So if you look, uh, you may or may not see it on the camera again. Um, well, I'll take the battery out. So the connection for the speaker is right there. And then the battery, you just kind of give that a pull. And then you'll see there's the connection. Now, to, to get that back in, all you have to do is open this up. And then right there, 
is the connector. Now you don't have to worry about um, cro uh, reverse th threading it because um, both of the the way I secured them, power will always be power and negative will always be negative. So all you have to do is open this up, look in there, slide this down, and then just kind of watch it guide itself in. Um, and then that's the only downside is that I was trying to, you know, look at the upside and the downside. Upside is I get the largest speaker, the 28 millimeter Smuggler's Outpost base speaker as a removable speaker in the LS6. To me, that's a huge upside. The downside is one that is in, you cannot do the second reveal. You can't do that because it actually, the speaker is too big to fit through that. But I discovered that it's got plenty of room in there. So to do the second reveal, you have to take the speaker off. It That's just how it is. So I'm okay with that because I, I got my crystal chamber reveal up here. Uh, originally, I did design this for um, a... Uh, 22, was it 22? Yeah, 22 millimeter base speaker. Um, with that one though, and looking back, I don't know why, I made it so that that one's connector was much deeper. So that one had a connection that looked like this, where it was reaching further, and then there was the connection right there. And I did it in this reveal section so that you could watch where you were going because it does fit through here and you can do the reveal with that speaker at the same time being connection connected but after plugging it in i was you know a couple of people told me like it was not going to be very loud um and i just didn't i i ultimately ended up agreeing with them and i didn't like it so after that i was like how if, if i put this on though i i won't be able to to get it on while this is released. And then if I do it like this, I will never find that. So I literally had to make a, t I had to make a tiny little adapter, which would extend the original connection for the speaker from here to right, almost right out there. Um, so that was, uh, let me get this back on really quick. That was, fun in and of itself. So now the connection from there actually goes further back to right there. Okay, so I may not be able to get you to see this on camera of me putting the battery back in, but um, just because of the way that the camera is sitting and the angle, it's not easy. It's not the easiest thing to see. Um, <laughs> But, hang on, like I said, I don't think I'm going to be able to get you to see it on camera, but it's in there now. Anyway, and then um, all you got to do is follow that right up there, bada bing, bada boom, let's screw that back on. Now the only thing I was disappointed on so far was... <laughs> The depth of that char that recharge port, originally I had it deep enough where you could just slide the SD card out right above it. But after the glue set, the E600 glue set, it seemed to have jumped up by like half a millimeter now. Because when I went to put in the SD card finally, I actually had to push, I had to push this down a little bit and then I could slide it in. So... I'm a little disappointed with that, that it was off by like half a millimeter. So it's the only downside so far. Anyway, um, so let's let's power this up. I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Jedi, like my father before me. 
It's got a bunch of fonts on there. And then, um, so again, I made that, um, I chopped this off from the stock plug so that now you can have the light around it. And I also drilled um, down into it to give that extra light coming out. Uh, I hope I don't knock my speaker over, or my camera over while I'm looking for this other um, little part. It does come with this tiny little cap. Um, and I, th I think that's a, a ver uh, I think that's so you can have the different versions from like the V2 plug versus the V1, but you still got the plug and you can cover it and then you just screw it down, um, with the little Allen wrench right there. And then now it's capped, but then you can also have the option of taking it off and I'm not getting it off. I'm not going to fiddle with that anymore right now. Um, I am going to get, uh, either Sky Wampa or, um, this other guy came up with a, um, battery sticker. Um, so I want to, I do want to put a battery sticker on here for that secondary reveal, just for the heck of it. Anyway, um, so this is the crystal chamber that I designed for this. And man, it, it was... A cram fooey. Um, sorry if the um, if the camera is getting in and out of focus, but I think it came out just so cool. This is the third design that I did for this before it was the the favorite of all three. Um, the other first two, I just wasn't happy with it. Um, so I just kept messing with it, kept trying different parts until I finally came up with one I really liked. So, and man, that just lights up so, so well. Let me see if I can do the clash. There you go. My favorite is always to show off um, the unstable blade. Because that just looks so cool. And then I really like it in uh, like a blue. So it does have color change, as always. I don't know, I just love the deep blue in the unstable blade. And then, uh, in case anybody wants to, you know, display it detached, I did put the onboard LED, Chateau LEDs in the top. It just gives you that extra crystal power, in my opinion. I am... I, I'm telling you, I am so shocked how this turned out. I really am. I, I just... I can't believe how it turned out. I'm... Okay, I guess I should stop talking about it. But anyway, <laughs> I can't help it. Um, <clears throat> so, that is pretty much that. Um, the only thing that... The, the biggest thing for me was having the metal frame. I mean, there the final straw that got me to buy this, um, and <laughs> let alone buy it, but also buy three of them, uh, I stumbled across somebody's uh, video, I can't remember who it was, but some kid had the V2, and they had a double crystal reveal, and I, I mean, that won't work for my removable battery um, desire, but that just finally was like the last straw for me, like, okay, I gotta get this thing, I really do, and having it in my hand, um, 
compared to like the Romans props, for example, um, and even the uh, Phoenix um, Phoenix props, um, Seven Chambers collab. Those are the these are the three heroes I've had so far in my hands, and I like the Phoenix because it's it's so tiny, it, it's so much smaller, and it's more the Return of the Jedi um, type of design. But out of all of them, the LS6, for me, again, for me, takes the cake. This thing feels like a weapon. I mean, I have some uh, personal um, daggers that I got from Hawaii when I was younger years ago. And those are daggers that actually feel like weapons. Well, this saber hilt feels like a weapon in your hand there's something about the heavy metal that just it just feels so real it feels so much more real in my hand than any of the other ones i've i've handled so but again everybody's got their own preference and uh that's just become mine so anyway um that is pretty much the um sum up for my build um, I am going to paint all this in here to make it look more fancy. Um, yeah, so I was just super excited to, you know, make this video and show it off to you guys. Um, I am super excited to get on to this one because I just can't get over these metal, these metal frames in here. It's just, it's just so cool. And really what also was like another straw for me is the Rudy Pando, um, metal crystal chamber that he does in the obi-wan kenobi hilts i've been asking him for a long time i was like hey would you ever have one you know that would fit in a here in a luke hero you know like for example in the romans props and he said it just doesn't have the space for it so uh the the best way to meet the meet that for me was to get the ls6 because it's got it installed and designed that way so Anyway, um, I was also really excited to announce this, uh, this new display case yesterday. Um, I, I can't, I, this is the only demo one that I have on hand. I can't wait to get, oh, excuse me, get a couple more so I can like stack them on top of each other because it, this is a solid, this is solid oak base and, uh, this, um, plexiglass, it's pretty strong. I, I would probably feel confident being able to stack like, I don't, God, maybe four, maybe four on top of there. And if someone's daring, they could probably do five or six even, but I probably won't be that gutsy. But anyway, um, this is, that's just a really cool new way to display them and see them all. So super excited about that. Uh, and that is everything. So, uh, stay tuned guys. I got, uh, more builds in the future. And uh, thanks for thanks for um, taking a look. May the force be with you.